Hi everyone, Physics Ninja here. Today we're going to talk about fidget spinners. Actually, we're not because these things are, although it's a really popular toy and will be the most popular toy of 2017, it's pretty boring. All you do is you spin it and then that's all it does. You can balance it on your thumb. It might process a little bit depending on how you hold it, but it's too simple. Today I want to talk about the physics spinner. And here's what the physics spinner is. Number one, it's way bigger, so it has to be cooler. Number two, look at this, it's got two sections that can swivel, they can move. It's made of aluminum here, you got one bar connected with bearings so it's allowed to rotate, and another section of bars here. Notice over here there's a gap between, so the middle section or the lower section here can swing in between both of those. This is the physics spinner. It's also called a double pendulum. Today we're gonna to look at the dynamics associated with this double pendulum. Now, although it looks very, very simple, it is very complicated from a physics standpoint. You can make it simple. Now, here's a simple case. Uh, there are a couple other cases you could do that are quite simple. But in general, the dynamics and the motion of these two aluminum bars, this double pendulum, is very, very complicated. So let's look at some cases and look at the dynamics associated with the motion of this. Okay, so I've got it set down in the basement. Let's give it a little amplitude and just watch it go. All right, not that interesting, I agree. Uh, we could do better than that. Just swings back and forth there. You bend it a little bit and now you let it go. Now it gets a little bit more interesting, right? It, but it still just kind of goes back and forth in a pretty simple fashion, but it's still pretty cool. All right, let's increase the angle and watch it fly now. So we're going to crank it up to about 90 degrees. And just watch it move. It's quite incredible, actually. If you try to predict its motion, you're going <laughs> to fail miserably. Sometimes it just seems like it's getting into a pattern, and then all of a sudden it'll start switching. An example of chaotic pendulum. All right, here's another case. Let's bring it a little bit higher this time. Right near the top. And wow, look at it spin. Oh my goodness. It's out of control. Such a simple device, yet just so rich in dynamics. And a lot of the motion is almost hard to see with the eye. A lot of very subtle and small motion sometimes. You can barely capture it. But we're going to do something later to really trace the motion of this chaotic pendulum. Here's a slightly different view here. You can really watch it kind of spin. And kind of a cool device, man. Again, way cooler than the fidget spinners. My goodness, it's not even a contest. All right, I now wanna be able to kind of look at the motion in more detail. So I'm gonna fasten some small LED lights. I've got a red one and a blue one, and I'm gonna tape them uh, to the end of the physics spinner. And I'm gonna take some long exposure pictures. So here's an example of the red LED bulb kind of attached to the end of the physics spinner. You can now look at it and, I mean, it's still not that great because it simply moves too fast. But I got an app on my iPhone that allows me to take long exposure pictures and have a look at some of the pictures that I took. So, highlighting the motion. Here's an example of a long so exposure trace out picture. The I turned off all the lights in the basement. In the basement. Traces out the yep. motion of the light. Here are a couple more pictures uh, with the red with the lights still on in the basement. Pretty nice. I'm going to zoom in of another shot here. If you look close to the circle part, uh, you can see some pretty interesting <laughs> maneuvers from the edge of that double pendulum. Uh, here's one. Look at all the small circles and the complicated pattern. I then introduced some blue. I switched the light but kept the picture there. And then I just switched completely to blue, and I think this was my favorite color. Uh, it just kind of popped once you turn the lights off. You can see some different examples here of some very complicated uh, motion from that 
again, this is just from the end, tracing out the end of that double pendulum. Look at this one here. I introduced some green light, then I went totally with green, and even some of the simple motion turns out pretty nice. Sometimes you don't have to let it go for too long. This is just kind of a short one, maybe five seconds. And also for this one, it's kind of unique. Every case will be different, which is kind of nice. Here I combine two lights and I attach two lights to the pendulum at the same time. Um, they're different light powers, so it didn't work out that well, but still kind of neat. Well, thanks, well, thanks for watching. For watching. Uh, visit www.physicsninja.org for